Hey neighborhood and friends, wanted to give you another quick two minute talk of encouragement, kind of fill your day up a little bit with a little bit of hope. And I, 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 I just hope that this does that for you today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about being shaken and stirred. Not just shaken and not stirred or stirred and not shaken, but shaken to be stirred. This morning I was reading in Hebrews chapter 12, one of my absolute favorite books and passages of the Bible. I feel that every time I read anything in the Bible, it's like, oh, this is probably my favorite. Um, but Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 25, about halfway through, you'll hear uh, and, you, and you'll read this passage where it says, when God spoke on Mount Sinai, his voice shook the earth. Now, when we're in times like this, I think sometimes what's hardest for us is to hear God's voice. And what does it sound like in times of trouble? Well, in those days, he spoke and it shook the earth. That's never really changed because it says right after that, it says, but now when he speaks, he still shakes the earth so that the unshakable things will remain. I have been really moved by people's faith in this time. I've seen a lot of one-liners. One of them I see over and over is faith over fear. And although that is really powerful, what I think I've struggled over the years with faith over fear is that, what do I do when I'm still fearful? It, it somehow tells me that if I'm feeling fear, I don't have enough faith. But I think sometimes what shakes us produces us to be unshakable, which is faith. Faith is truly unshakable. In 1990, actually February 28th, 1990, in the town that I lived in, in Southern California, in Upland, we had a 7.0 earthquake. Everything under my ground, uh, under my feet, suddenly was uncertain, much like what we feel today. But what scared us and the culture the most, what created mental anxiety and 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 fear and even depression and all kinds of unhealthy realities in our life was the aftershocks. It wasn't necessarily, oh, the earthquake shook us. We survived that. Now we're worried about the aftershocks. What's coming because of the shaking? I think we have gone through the initial shaking of this COVID-19, but I think many of us are still worried about what is to come. At least I am. I believe that fearing what might come is just producing in us a deeper faith and a deeper trust. So may today be a day for you in which your fear produces an unshakable reality of who you are. It's not about being fearless. It's allowing fear to make you faith-filled to be full of his presence, to be full of his grace and his mercy, to walk every day with the truth that God is actually with you. So uh, that's my encouragement for you today. Would you comment down below in the space below and let us know, let everybody else know, what are you doing to stay filled with faith even when you wake up the next morning and might be uh, experience a little bit of fear, what aftershocks are coming. So comment in. I hope this encourages your day. Have an awesome and beautiful day and may you stay healthy and whole.